Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Benizamaki Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Before I even say anything concerning Rahab and projections for next year, make a date with us on the 31st of December from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight at the Life Cathedral behind the trip fair behind Zenith College. We're meeting there, we're praying, and I believe that I have a prophetic word, a sound word, word something that you will need something that um, you, you would carry. There are testimonies we have. We have testimonies of what God is doing and people are carrying great testimonies of certain pronouncements that we made last at the, at the end of last year. We admitted there'll be difficulties, but we said this year was gonna be a year of un unlimited possibilities. Uh, and, uh, and the possibilities this year has been tremendous. Even in the midst of COVID, We've had powerful testimonies of what God can do. And so make a date with us on the 31st of December uh, from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight as we stay in the presence of God and hear a rima word. That is a proceeding word, a word that looks for you, locates you where you are and speaks to, into you and makes you pregnant, ready to give birth to something in 2021. You know one thing? I believe with everything in my heart. That 2021 is going to be a year like 2020 was a year of endless possibilities. This year, 2021 is going to be a year of divine expansion. Get ready to expand. Get ready to break your bounds. Get ready to, to, to jump over, leap over every wall. Get ready to, because God is about to do something. Hallelujah. Amen. And so now, I'm still on the role of, of Rahab. Rahab the harlot. And in Joshua chapter 6, verse 1 to 19, there's a powerful story over there. The story of a woman, oh, I mean, just blows my mind away. And the Bible said, you know, this woman was a harlot. This woman was a prostitute. How come there were good, there might have been good people living in Jericho who were not harlots, who were not prostitutes. But she, you get it, she was the one who joined the company of, 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 of Israel. And out of her womb came the Christ. You'd be very, very surprised. She's one of the great, great grandmothers of Jesus. Yes, and yes, and yes. That was Rahab. And in God's Hall of Fame, in Hebrews chapter 11, her name is right in there. So there's something precious about Rahab. There's something principled about Rahab. There's something powerful about Rahab that we need to look at in viewing the next year that is coming. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts in correct connections. CC, correct connections. Um. The Bible says, iron sharpeneth iron. So does a man the countenance of his friend. And there are some, uh, sometimes God brings you uh, across people or God brings you into contact with certain people and those people become your divine connections for your next level. They are the people that God has brought to you to take you to your next level. And it is up to you to look at those people critically and quickly comply with what God wants to do for your life by making connections with them. Israel was coming. They were going to ransack the whole of Jericho. They were going to pull Jericho down. They were going to destroy the city of Jericho. But here comes the principle. The Bible said, and as they were coming, Rahab said to herself, I have kinsfolk in the city. I have friends in the city. I have relatives in the city. I have connections in the city. I am a woman. I'm connected to the city because I have, I'm a woman who trades in the flesh of men. So I have male customers in, in the city, rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief. I have them all in the city. But she looked at what was coming. And the Bible said, at the approaching army of Israel, he said, I need to make connections with those people. Sometimes you need to cut off certain relationships. Sometimes you need to cut off certain connections in order to make good connections, connect to the right people for the things that God is speaking about your life to come to pass. Rahab said, I know these people coming. I need to get connected to them. And let me just say this. 
Rahab just didn't say, I need to make connection. She just didn't think of connection. She pursued connection. She pursued relationship. Rahab pursued connection. She asked them, I want to be connected to you. That's what Rahab said. So it is not just admiring, admiring the, the, what God is doing. It is not just seeing what God is doing, but getting connected, getting attached to their, to their, to their testimony, getting attached to, 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 to their success. Rahab said, I want to be part of this success story. So Rahab made a conscious decision to be connected to the right people. Birds of the same feathers flock together. If you got connected to failure, you will fail. If you get connected to success, you will succeed. If you get connected to defeat, you'll be defeated. If you get connected to victory, you'll be victorious. That is the, the right connections, the proper connections. And don't just be connected to people just on the, on, the, on the outside. Rahab got connected to the people of Israel because of God. Because of the God factor. So she's not just co connected to successful people. She's not just connected to victorious people. She's connected because they have God. Look for godly people and make friends with godly people. Because if you associate with ungodliness, you're going to walk in the path of ungodliness and eat at the table of ungodliness and drink from the cup of ungodliness. So sometimes you need to adjust. Rahab said, I have clients, I have friends, rich man, poor man, bigger men, who've come to feast upon my flesh. That's what Rahab said. But I'm cutting them all away and I'm attaching myself to these people. Because God is with them. In the coming year, make connections with the right people. Because the right people will help you. They'll become pedestals, or they'll become platforms, or they'll become, they'll become guides or helping hands for you to reach your destiny. Well, it's a choice you have to make. Rehab made the choice. So, right connections will get you to the right places. See you later.